you for taking me to see Dr. Harry earlier today. Allow me. Uh, Dr. Hardy said that I should probably spend some time alone. You know, I should get reacquainted with myself at a slower pace. Uh, I thought that you said Dr. Hardy told you not to discuss your session with anyone. Well, there's really nothing to discuss. I mean, since there was really no big breakthrough. Well, don't be discouraged. You know what they say, the game isn't over until it's over. The game? The process. Getting your memory back. How would you like a little dinner? You know, I'm really not as hungry as I thought I was, but you feel free to go out if you want to. Just as soon keep you company if I could. Oh, you know, I really, I don't need company. You don't have to feel obligated to be with me. Oh, but I do. You see, it's for the better, though. The more time we spend together, the easier it may be for you to get your memory back. Maybe you should leave the therapy to Dr. Hardy. There's therapy and then there's therapy. I just thought that maybe we could go to our old famous place. You'll have to remind me what our old famous place is. Dino's. We used to have pizza there all the time. Oh, yeah, if you say so. Mm -hmm. Does Colton like Dino's? I've never taken Colton out there. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter because he's in a helicopter on his way up to a state penitentiary, so he'll have to miss out on this little meal. Be back in a flash. How is the acting going? It is pure torture. He's determined to spend the evening with me, and he's bringing over my favorite pizza. Well, you know, I think you're going to have to make some kind of a decision, because they might love you, but they're not stupid. Well, it turns out that our favorite pizza place, Dino's, has been closed for a while. Oh. But I think this will probably do just fine. Well, as I said, I'm not really hungry. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Pizza used to be your favorite food. Well, go ahead. Go on. Okay. You know, you really used to love this apartment. Yes, yeah, very nice. Mm-hmm. My brother and his late wife used to live here. Then they bought a house and, and we moved in. <laughs> you know, we really had some good times back in the bedroom. You know, I think we needed a change of scenery. Why don't we go to a movie at the triplex? Triplex. How do you know about the triplex? Um, we passed it on the way to the hospital. Well, your short-term memory is coming back. You know, there's one thing I hate. And that's eating pizza all by myself. Are you sure you don't want to join me? You look starved. Is it is. <laughs> is he giving you a rough time? Well, yeah, he's 
he's just being Frisco, you know. He's been here all evening trying to refresh my memory. Refresh your memory. That's right. Uh-huh. I think I saw him at the hospital and I left. What were you doing at the hospital? <sighs> trying to get a job. Oh, I got the lowdown on that, um, that girl I was telling you about, that nurse. Her name is Dawn Winthrop. Dawn Winthrop? <laughs> That's it, yeah. I remember her. She's very cute. <laughs> yeah, yes. She's also taken, I think. Well, maybe she wants to be taken again. You are a stinker. <laughs> what about you? What about the closet? Have they checked for fingerprints yet? No, I've been waiting around for orders. All right, start with the closet and work your way around to the heliport. What am I doing here? What does Robert want? Uh, don't ask me, man. I don't know. What happened to you? They hit you from behind? Look, I told Steve and I told Robert the whole story. If you want details, look at the report. You're a cop. What's going right? on? All right, you here. Hello, Frisco. How you doing, Doc? Uh, there's no answers just at the moment. This doesn't look like a routine hijacking now. When I found out that your destination was the prison, I've asked to have a cell check done. You know, you're lucky they didn't ask you to go on just for the ride. I will chloroform enough of a flight for me, I'll tell you. Anybody from the prison infirmary come up with anything? Not yet. It appears it was just a routine airlift. Now, if this was a, a breakout attempt, whoever engineered it really knew what they were doing. Robert, if you want to talk to some of the people who were on duty during the attack, I can round them up for you. Okay, Steve, thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. All right, let's take it from the top once more. Everything you can remember, perhaps a description, an accent, discerning marks, give it to me. Nothing. We got a negative on the prints in the heliport and the closet. Well, that was a long shot anyway. On the contrary, when you have modern technology, you use it. You never die curious. Robert? Yeah? Excuse me, there's a warden on the line for you. Thanks, love. Scorpio. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Look, Jim, uh, that's not much help. Might I suggest that when you finally decide to check that cell, you let me know what you're looking for? Chief Maintenance. Right. Pat Sullivan. That's something. Talk to me soon. What do you say? Well, not a whole lot. Apparently, when the uh, copter was leaving, the local airport uh, gave him clearance to fly back to Port Charles. Why? Well, more to the point, who? Before I get down in the dumps and feeling blue, I look at this little locket here and I think about all the good times we had in Atlantic City. And when I really <sighs> thought that I was Phoebe Dawson. I thought I told you to get rid of that thing. I mean, if your two boyfriends find out that I taught you how to pick pockets... Mm. I learned how to do that myself. Okay. Besides, this is a piece of junk. Who's gonna want it? All right, don't say I didn't warn you. I won't. You know, I think I should call it a night. So you don't have to worry about sneaking out because there's nobody else in the building, I don't think. Great. Great, all right. Um, okay, okay. You're gonna be fine, you know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe one, one of these. Good luck. Thanks. Sweet dreams. You too. All right. Bye.